Okay, so by a raise of hands, how many of you have been to Disneyland? Okay, so it's a pretty good amount of you. So if you live like in the area, it's probably likely. But have you ever wondered what it would be like to work there? Well, I'm going to tell you why you should work here. By the time I'm done giving my speech, I want all of you to apply online. <laughs> Disney, Disney offers great benefits, over 3,000 job opportunities, discounts, and many perks. Once you are hired at Disneyland, you are considered a cast member. I say cast member because you are becoming part of a show that runs throughout the park. You as a cast member play a part in a role that helps run the whole show. Your uniform is considered a costume, and the place where you take your breaks is considered the backstage area, and so on. So doesn't it sound great? First of all, let me tell you about the awesome benefits. Disney offers medical care, prescription drugs, dental care, and vision care. Also, they offer programs to help all cast members and their family members stay active. Cast members can attend free fitness classes such as yoga, Zumba, and more. Disney has sport leagues that let members play soccer, volleyball, basketball, and softball. And they also have a psychologist, so if any of you and your family members like need to see one, you can just make an appointment. Disney offers over 3,000 different job positions to choose from. You can work as a cashier, a ride operator, a custodian, a photographer, character, and the list goes on and on. There's so much. If after four months of being hired, you aren't satisfied with your job position or location, you are able to transfer or cross-train to a new location. It's four months because you must wait until your um, until your off probation. I had a coworker who worked for two years at my current location. She transferred to work as a host at Goofy's Kitchen, but she felt like sh that position just wasn't meant for her. So after a month, she decided she wanted to she wanted to come back to her previous location. So she spoke to the managers and she got her job back. I had another coworker transfer to become a food prep. Her dream career is to become a chef, so this is a great opportunity to gain some experience with handling and preparing food. So if you don't like your current position, you can always transfer and find something more suitable for your preference. Disney offers discounts to so many places. You can get discounted tickets to concerts, SeaWorld, Six Flags, Legoland, Universal, any Disney park in the world, theaters, AMC, museums, aquariums, zoos, and many more. They offer discounts to many restaurants, car rentals, Apple, hotels, flights, crews, pet care, grocery coupons, AT&T, and there's so much more. Another great perk is that Disneyland provides your uniform or costume for you. This includes the shirt, any type of bottoms, whether it be pants, shorts, or skirts, shoes, belts, any type of headpiece, and even jackets and coats to keep warm during the cold. The shoes they give you are worth $30 to $70 and are completely free. You get a free pair every six months because they get worn out, so you have to switch them out. You get to choose from eight different styles and brands. They may not be the cutest thing in the world, but they are really comfortable and safe and they're free. My cousin recently, he got hired at BJ's and his um, work provided him that he needed to buy free, slip free shoes, so he had to go buy some. But on the other hand, Disney can just provide it to you for free. You can pick up your shoes and costume at this building called Costumey. It has every costume that each location requires. All you gotta do is check it out with your ID and your set. Don't have time to wash your costume? That's okay because costume costuming does it for you, does the laundry for you. So you're always wearing a clean costume to work. Inside the costuming building are also changing rooms. So if you ever want to change before or after work, you can always do that. A lot of people that work at Disney don't live around the area and come from different cities. So driving back home just to change would be a waste of time and gas. So you can just save yourself the hassle by bringing whatever you're going to wear after and change in the locker rooms if you're going to go out after work. Another great perk is the complimentary admission. Once you're hired, you get a card called a main entrance pass. With this pass, you can sign in three people, including yourself, to both parks, the Disney California Adventures and Disneyland 16 times throughout the whole year. These passes would also be valid at any Disney park in the world, such as Disney World, Disney, Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Shanghai, or Hong Kong. 
So if you and your family are looking for that great family bonding or a getaway vacation, Disney is the place. Also during the holidays, all cast members receive a holiday packet that includes vouchers that can be used for free churros, free ice cream, pretzels, and drinks. They also give you coupons to use at restaurants in the park that give you up to 50% off your whole meal. Every year, each packet is different, but they also give you awesome deals to museums or zoos like a free entrance for you and a guest. It's pretty great. Just by showing your idea at checkout for most locations at the park can get you a 20% off discount. Last but not least, you get to create magic. By magic, I mean you have the opportunity to do something amazing for a guest or family that you wouldn't get to do anywhere else. Lots of us cast members create magic in many different ways. Some of us help families find their missing kid, or give a couple a front of the line pass, or even give someone another slice of pizza that they accidentally dropped. So we take, see where I work, see where I work, we sometimes make magic by randomly adding sprinkles to the top of someone's ice cream. I currently work as a cashier in outdoor vending and also in Clarible's a hand scooped ice cream parlor at DCA. Sometimes we'll have a really busy rush and we'll accidentally make a Sunday wrong. Here's the thing, we don't want to just throw them away, right? So, because it would be a waste of ice cream. So we take advantage of this accident and turn it into magic. We usually go outside and just hand it to a random family that looks like they could be in need of some ice cream. It usually makes them so happy and that's just the joy of doing something great for someone. We have now created magic. Disney offers so many great benefits, discounts, perks, and amazing job, job opportunities that can be life-changing and full of experiences. These are only of the few great perks you get by working for the Disney company. So have I convinced you yet? So, Rico, what did you think? Okay, so I thought your uh, speech content was appropriate for the audience. I mean, Disneyland's a relatable topic. I'm pretty sure everyone's been to Disneyland. Uh, her projection and her fluency was really well. Uh, she had uh, one major pop, that's about it. Everything was really cool. Uh, in terms of her uh, evidence and her research, she didn't really give anything. She was just like, it was, she was the expert. Uh, so, I thought that could use some work. Uh, her uh, pitch. The rate and her volume was all good. I like the way she uh, talked. She really was uh, had a high energy when she began, so she got my attention right away. But her conclusion was kind of like she was talking. She could have probably had a pause, but she was like, have I convinced you? So it was just like, she probably did a pause. And the first one, the conclusion was like, October. Oh, so it's, it's overall, it was really good. There's something she can work on. Okay. Well, as I've said before, the audience survey is not my favorite attention device. I think you could do something a little bit more invigorating, but you clearly state what your topic is. Um, it, it's, it feels a little, uh, a little broad. Uh, I do think that there is a, a reasonable argument to be made here that encourages people to uh, think about a career working for Disney. But most of your uh, justification for this has, is a listing of what the perks are instead of telling us you know, some of the ways in which this could enhance your career. I mean, I've, I've enjoyed the hearing about all of those kinds of things, but if you were talking about at the beginning of your career, you're thinking, well, I'm going to make a career working for Disney, you know, uh, getting churros and uh, being able to go to Disneyland uh, on a regular basis, those are nice things, but I'm not exactly sure that's the kind of thing I would think, well, I'm, I'm going to make, 
that my career, you know, and the, and the big perk is I get a churro every once in a while. I think that's a, that's a little bit of a problem. I, there's never any reference to, you know, sorry about being so direct about this, never any reference to what the salary scales are like or how people can move up in an organization, um, what the opportunity for long-term employment is, those sorts of things. And I think that there needs to be a little bit more of that. I, I think Rico is correct. Uh, you're relying on your own knowledge here to provide us information here. And I think you need to source that a little bit more. You did have a piece of information that I know that you got from probably your employee's manual about the uh, 3,000 different jobs that can be done there. Is cite the employee's manual. That would be one of the things that ought to, and I'm sure that that's probably where a lot of the information came from, but you're not citing it in the presentation, and that's a, that's, that's a little bit awkward. I, I think we get a nice behind the scenes look at some of the things about working at Disney, you know, the, the stuff about being backstage, like you said, some of the perks that are there, the, you know, the way that people might operate there. At the end, though, when you're talking about the magic, and I like that idea, that's, that's the part where there ought to be some emotional engagement and uh, that you should be talking to us from your heart, and you're reading a lot of that stuff. And I'm going, wait a second, this is your story. You're talking about doing something that was kind of cool, and you're having to read it? It, it just it doesn't sell very well, and I think that your ethos is not as uh, effective as it ought to be for somebody who is an enthusiastic employee at Disney and that's what you're telling everybody else to do that you need to do these kinds of things and uh, you've got it scripted out and you're going through the cards and when you watch it it just it looks sometimes like ah, here's the next card and here's the next card and here's the next card it's just it feels like you're rolling through the speech instead of engaging the audience and talking to us and at this point in the semester we really want you to be talking to us and not just at us all right thank you